What do you use to navigate these days? The GPS? Well, did you know India has its own GPS? So what is Navic? Can it replace GPS? Let's understand. Hello and welcome. I'm Pallavi Sharma and you're watching Money Wise with ET Now. Let's begin. Starting with what is NAVIC? NAVIC is a regional satellite navigation system which was developed by the Indian Space Research Organization or the ISRO. The development of the system began in 2013 and became fully operational in April 2018 with the launch of its seventh satellite in Constellation. The government of India asked all smartphone companies to make phones that are NAVIC compatible. IT Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar has said that all 5G phones should be NAVIC compatible by January 1, 2025 and all other L1 band phones by December 2025. So just like you have Google Maps for GPS, there is NAVIC app for NAVIC. Now what is its coverage if you may ask? Well, it primarily covers India and the surrounding regions extending up to 1,500 kilometers beyond the boundaries. It includes India, the Pacific Ocean, some parts of South Asia, Southeast Asia and Middle East. Now, where is NAVIC being used? As per ISRO, NAVIC offers two services, the Standard Position Service for Civilians and Restricted Service for Strategic Users. Its uses include transportation, location-based services, personal mobility, resource monitoring, surveying and geodesy, scientific research, time dissemination and synchronization, and safety of alert dissemination. NAVIC competes with other popular navigation systems in the world like GPS, the Russia's global navigation satellite system, the EU's Galileo, China's Beidou, and Japan's Quasi Zenith satellite system. The number of satellites in constellation stands at seven for NAVIC in comparison to others. For example, there are 31 satellites for GPS, 24 for Russia's system, Beidou has 44. In terms of coverage too, NAVIC covers only India and surrounding areas. GPS, Russia's system and China's system provide worldwide coverage, while Japan's Quasi Zenith covers Japan and Asia Pacific. Moving on to its benefits, well, NAVIC is more accurate than GPS in urban and rural areas. It also is less susceptible to interference from buildings and other obstacles than GPS. NAVIC chipsets are designed to consume less power than GPS chipsets. It can be useful for devices with limited battery life. It is safer and convenient because it's homegrown. For example, during Kargil War, India requested the US government to share some details about the location of enemies on the mountains, but US refused. This triggered India to have its own navigation system and not depend on any other country. But how is NAVIC compared to GPS? Well, NAVIC offers a positioning accuracy of 3 meters depending on the signal strength and availability of satellites. Well, GPS has an accuracy of 5 meters. Also, NAVIC is available in two frequencies, the S and L band, while GPS is available only in L band. All in all, NAVIC has a potential to go global and be a positioning system like the GPS. It also has various features. ISRO is planning to launch more satellites in NAVIC constellation and also plans to make the coverage global soon. For more such videos, keep following ET Now. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.